New on Wake Up America, or excuse me, Wisconsin is America's dairy land, but there's a vegetable made right here in Marathon County that's popular for Chinese New Year. And with the holiday coming fast at the start of February, News 9's Jimmy Sadowski joins us with different ways that you can use it after talking with Alice in Dairyland. Jimmy? When you think of foods Wisconsin is known for growing, cheese or cranberries might be the first that come to mind. But we're also number one in the nation for ginseng production, and there's a lot of uses for this little root vegetable. Chinese New Year kicks off on February 10th, and one of the key ingredients that will be used in the dishes made, ginseng. And a majority of the country's ginseng is grown right here in Marathon County. For the holiday, it might be used in tea or mooncake, but there's also a number of other daily uses. It can be used as a dietary supplement and even be made into candy. One recipe is definitely a fan favorite of Alice in Dairyland. It uses spinach, blueberries, cherries, yogurt, bananas. You mix this all together with a little bit of Wisconsin ginseng powder, and it's then ready to be enjoyed. This cherry morning smoothie is absolutely delicious in the morning to give you a little boost to start your day. About a tenth of the world's ginseng comes from Wisconsin, and it's quite the popular export. Here's a picture of some authentic Wisconsin ginseng Ashley saw overseas while she was in Asia. They say if you're looking to spot some Wisconsin ginseng when you're outside the Badger State, look for the seal it has from the Ginseng Board of Wisconsin with an eagle on it. Jake, back to you.